It fits like a glove, Captain. Hi, Tony here. Welcome back to the channel, or indeed welcome if it is your first time. For this video, I had three pairs of short leather, essentially summer riding gloves that I've been testing out, and I thought it makes sense to bring those to you in one single group test. I guess it doesn't really matter in which order you do them, so let's start with the lowest priced items first, which are these, the gold top bobber deerskin gloves these are a new glove out from gold top and if you don't know the brand then i'd certainly recommend them going and having a look at them you've got one millimeter black aniline cowhide on the back of the gloves or the dorsal uh, with an extra part put in between the thumb and forefinger for reinforcement the palms are 0.8 millimeter pure golden deerskin the gloves, unlike the bobbers, are unlined, so uh, you get a really good feel on the handlebars, but also it means that that perforation uh, actually works incredibly well. As soon as you start riding, the amount of airflow that you get through these gloves is fantastic. So on warm summer days, these are going to be excellent. One thing I'll have to point out about these gloves is there is no armour in them. You've got nothing on the knuckles, you've got nothing on the fingers. You have got this small little palm protector here with a little bit of memory foam inside. Now they will give you protection obviously if you go sliding down the road and put your hands out. You've got really good abrasion resistance and one of the reasons they've used deerskin in these is not only is it light and supple but it's also stronger and it's got more abrasion resistance than cowhide. In terms of detailing, will Gold Top always go full out on this? And the perforation and design from the strap cuff on the front and the quilted section on the thumbs is great. You've got a Velcro cuff, a straightforward pull and fix Velcro cuff with very nice little Gold Top brass buckle on there as well. And they are just a, a really nicely finished pair of gloves. The leather is so soft and so supple that they don't need any breaking in. These I literally took out of the packet a few days ago to go and ride in them and they feel like I've been wearing them for years. It's just such a beautiful piece of material to put on your hands. They also score well in pricing. As I mentioned, these are the lowest priced gloves, but you can get this deer skin loveliness for just $59.99, which I think is a, a real bargain. If you're looking for a pair of classically styled, dare I say it, CAF or CAFE racer style gloves, you'll be hard pressed to find a better pair than these to wear during warm weather. Right, on to the next pair of gloves, which come from Holy Freedom, and these are the Bullet Unsalto gloves. Not sure what unsalto means, but never mind. Again, a pair of perforated cowhide gloves, cowhide on the palm and on the dorsal or the back of the glove. They are fully perforated, so you've got perforations right through the back of the hand, as well as the fingers and the palm and the thumb. Now, these differ slightly from the gold top ones as these have got a lining. It's not really a thermally insulated lining, it's just the silk comfort liner that sits inside of these. Um, so you still get good airflow, you can still feel the air coming through them, but you haven't got your hand against the bare leather inside. Doesn't really make much difference, uh, certainly for me. These also differ from the gold top in the fact that they have got some form of armour in them. You've got a part on the knuckle that goes across the top of the hand and there's also a couple of extra little bits in the fingers as well. So you've got some protection on the outside from impacts. Uh, nothing on the palms. You haven't got a, anything for the, the palm or the scaphoid. Um, so it swings and roundabouts really. One thing you obviously do notice about these gloves is the design. They're pretty loud. Um, they do these in various different colors. There's black and yellow, tan and black, all sorts of different color coordinations. The detailing on these is really nice as well. From the quilted stitching through the hand sections, you've got various different panels on the hands, accordion stretch pieces down the inside and the outside of the hands, and a nice Velcro pull strap with a little gusset in as well. Now the leather in these is stiffer than in the gold top ones. These do take a little bit of, uh, of breaking in and I found the fingers on these are just a little bit longer. Not really a, a big issue but they are a little bit longer than both the gold top and the Knox gloves that I'll talk about next. They do have the touch sensitive panels on the index fingers, not on the thumbs but on the index fingers which could come in useful. I've always found they're 
a little bit hit and miss anyway, but um, they've got them there if you need them. So out on the bike, what are they like? Well, again, really comfortable pair of gloves. The airflow through these is really good. It's not quite as direct a feeling as you get from the gold top ones because of that lining, but you still get a really good amount of airflow through these. Feel and dexterity on the controls is really good. And uh, overall, I think they're a, quite a stunning looking glove. You may not like them. That's obviously, they're not to everybody's taste, but if you want something that's a little bit different, these are certainly a choice you might want to have a look at and they retail at £99. And so now on to the third and final pair of gloves which are the Knox Ulsa Mark IIs. Again a leather short glove that's perforated. These are unlined in the same way as the gold top ones are. So again you get really exceptional feel on the controls. The obvious difference in these gloves is these are much more heavily armoured than the Holy Freedom ones. We've got a honeycomb gel panel with memory foam behind it in a floating knuckle joint and uh, there's a hard plastic cover on the outside of that you've got hard tpu parts in the fingers that act as sliders if you were to fall and these gloves also feature the Knox SPS, that's the scaphoid protection system, uh, and that's these hard sliders on the palm here. Now I've talked about those in some of my other glove reviews, and essentially they're there to protect the scaphoid bone in your wrist. Obviously when you fall and your hands go out, uh, leather gloves can grip the tarmac, twist your arm back that way and break the scaphoid bone in your wrist, which is a very common injury. And the whole idea with, with these is that the hard part hits the road and slides and it takes away that force in your wrist, therefore protecting it. One other thing you'll notice about these, of course, is it's got a boa adjustment on the cuff. Now, when I first saw these, I thought that was a little bit of a gimmick and I was kind of thinking, well, what's wrong with Velcro? Obviously in a crash, Velcro can get pulled open fairly easily and the instances of gloves getting pulled off has actually happened. So the Boa ones give you a much more um, adjustability in terms of the level of fit and they're really simple to use. It's just a case of putting the glove on, twisting the dial until you get just the right level of fit and then you're done. To release it, pull it up and it just completely releases. It's a really good system, it works really well. I've never had any problems with it at all. And obviously you get that really minute level of adjustment. It's also pretty low profile as well. I don't really have any issues getting any of my jackets over the top of these gloves. So not at all uh, a gimmick, a really useful uh, fitting on here and uh, it works really well. These gloves have the digital or touchscreen sensitive fingertips as well. Again, just on the index fingers. Oh, one other thing I forgot to mention, we've seen uh, aniline cowhide and deer skin in the other gloves. I've got another material for you here because these also Mark IIs are 100% goat skin. <laughs> Now I have been wearing these a little bit longer than the other two gloves. Um, I got these at the back end of last year and uh, I was gonna bring you a review earlier but going into the winter, having an unlined perforated glove didn't seem to make sense. So I've hung on to them now. So obviously these are a little bit more worn in than the other ones. And obviously depending on what you're riding or what kind of level of protection you want, these offer a little bit more but you do have to pay more for them, although still not a bad price, I don't think, at $129.99. And if these are not loud enough for you, you can get them in white leather. And I mustn't forget to mention how they perform out on the bike. Again, really comfortable because they're unlined, really good feel on the controls. Uh, they're nice and lightweight, incredibly flexible. They don't feel bulky at all although they have got quite a big knuckle protector and some people don't like those because that stands out quite a bit obviously the protection that gives you on your knuckles i think is a uh, uh, is worth having something that's got a slightly higher profile and to be honest when you're riding it you don't really notice it that much i'm a size nine which i think is a medium in gloves and all of the gloves in this test I got hold of exactly the same size to see if there's any comparison on them. And actually they all fit really well. The Holy Freedom ones are slightly longer in the finger, but, uh, uh, but from buying these, you've got no issues. If you know what glove size you want, uh, all three of these brands are spot on for sizing. 
So there's not much more to add. There's only so much you can actually talk about with a pair of gloves. Really, the important things are fit, comfort, protection, and longevity. And I think all three of these gloves score very highly in those. They're all CEEN13594 approved. So you know that these have been tested and have passed those quite rigorous tests. If you're looking for just a straightforward pair of simple yet really elegant gloves then the gold top ones at 59.99 i think are really hard to beat if you want to step the protection up a little bit in terms of armor or you just want something that's a little bit more in your face then the holy freedom bullet gloves are another good option and if you're riding something more sporty or maybe an adventure bike or you just want a higher level of armour protection, then the Knox also too are a great choice as well. Of course, if you want more protection than this, then Knox do offer the Handroid Pod, which is a full-on, effectively race glove, loads of armour on the back. And they've also just introduced the uh, Urbane Pro Glove to go along with their vests. That looks very interesting. Combination of leather and mesh materials, again, with a lot of protection, but should let a lot of air through. So I hope you found this review of these three short summer riding gloves useful. And uh, if you're interested to pick up a pair of any of these, then I've put links in the description to where you can go away and find them. If I can find them with a, a, a deal or some kind of discount, then I've put that in there as well. If you've got any questions about these or if there's something you want to ask me then go ahead and do that in the comment section down below if you're new to the channel and like to see more of my bike and gear reviews as they come through then please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell that would be much appreciated if you've watched my videos before but haven't yet subscribed why the hell not the button's just down there, just click it, that's all you have to do. It doesn't cost you any money, it doesn't take you any time, but it does make a big difference for me. Okay, that's it, so until next time, thanks for watching, take care, ride safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.